<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Crafty Simmer and we are back with another Animal Crossing video. <laughs> so I know that today it says it's Saturday, but this video goes up on Sunday. So today I actually want to go ahead here and um, we want, and I mean, okay, so let me just say I've had a rough week. Um, dealing with a lot of stuff. So I decided that maybe I should start something called Dream Diaries. So I will be basically showcasing Dream, uh, dream Towns, basically. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So of course, you know, if you guys want me to visit your towns via Dream Address, don't be afraid to drop it down below. Um, but of course though, we will be going through random towns as well, since Luna now allows you to do random towns, which is something that is really awesome. So let's go ahead here, let's go to sleep, and let's go visit some dreams. So we are going to a dream called Basil Leaf. Alrighty everyone, we are in a dream called Basil Leaf. Um, so, she's going to, so basically she's going to tell us that we're in a deep slumber and we're dreaming of a town called Basil Leaf. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I had to like, I had to like cough there for a minute. So anyways though, this is the dreamland. So of course we're going to go ahead here and we're going to walk around. Um, and just kind of take a look and see how they've laid out their town. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm not very creative. Um, so you know, even if I take like a couple of ideas from these towns, that would be really nice. So, we're just walking through here, they've got this cute little storefront, um, here with their, like, little, like, autumn-y clothes by the looks of it. Like, it looks like this is definitely a Halloween-themed one. So, I wonder what was the last time they updated their, uh, their storefront for a more matching, um, exterior, like, a more matching <laughs> look. So, yeah, so basically what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna kinda, like, walk through here. This is a lost item, but of course, um, if you wait like a day before giving it to the villager, you'll forget what it is, and it'll just vibe. Blaze it. Ahaha, <laughs> yes. And we got this cute little, oh my god, that looks so comfortable. We love the little, we, okay. I am jealous of this little beach. Like, this is so cute. And like, and like you can't just do that. Like you, like you can't make a little beach like that. So it's really nice. And here I see we have met one of the one of the people. This is Harry. Can I like see their passports? Oh no, I can't. Okay. No, we're not going to be mean like that. I, I, I always love people that have these, like, really cool-looking designs. I mean, I don't know, I mean, I've been kind of debating on, like, tearing down my entire island again just to, like, redo it. So, <laughs> but that's been kind of a thing in my mind. Of course, we have all these fabulous little pods, which, by the way, I absolutely love the little pods now, since you can do them. And it looks like that over here... We've got more of a residential zone, so I want to kind of head over towards the residential area. Cute little, de 
chest and it like holy moly this thing is so cute we got oh i got lost we got a little blm design up front which you know we always love we always love and we're going to head oh my goodness i love this art this art is so cute i have one of them too Oh my goodness, these things are so, like, look at this. A mush stool. Definitely a lot of like the fall theme items are still definitely out, which I mean, in my town, we took them down like a while ago. <laughs> well, I took them down a while ago, I should say. What kind of villagers do you have? We got Coco. Who else? Like your town looks really nice, my dude. And of course, I will be providing you guys like the dream codes and stuff because I'm pretty sure I can do that. Oh, this is Raymond's house. He has a Raymond. I mean, I guess you know the gold bars. It's kind of telling that it's Raymond because he has like the little like businessman look happening with him. A Zen style zone. I mean, like I don't know. Like I've considered restarting and I've considered um, just kind of taking apart my island again and redoing it. <laughs> To kind of like achieve this cute like landscape situation that's happening here. There's a phase I don't recognize. Please make your <laughs> I love how like they know this is a dream. Oh, we've got like a little graveyard area. And of course I have my little memorial space for Star. Um but like, I think it'd be kind of cool because I have lots of other people too in my life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then this is Red's island. Uh, like, like what? Bleh. Red's part of the island as well. Which I'm working on myself. I'm working on like a cute little area for Red as well because I think Red needs his own little space. And it looks like we've got a reading nook here. Another thing I plan to do. Oh my. Like, this is just, like, so comfy. And they have the little, um, the butterflies and stuff. They've got an orchid. They, they got an orchid. An orchid. An orchid. Yeah. An orchid. I, I, I probably spelled, I probably pronounced that wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of sucky at doing this. Like, I can't make my own, like, I suck at making an orchard. Like, I tried, I tried, and it failed. We should, I should probably redo it, though. Just chop down all my trees and hope for the best. I don't know, I have, I probably feel like that this is probably gonna make me, like, take down everything on my island again. <laughs> Oy vey. Alright, so this was the town of Basil Leaf. I have to find my way out of this, like, maze. Okay, this is a... Because we don't have any tools. So this is definitely not very helpful. <laughs> um... Oh! We got tangy. We got tangy. I'm not gonna lie. She's kind of cute, too. So we're gonna go ahead back down to Town Hall, and we'll kind of move on to the next dream. I'm planning to do like three dreams per video um, that we do, mm -hmm. providing that, of course, you guys like it. So before we leave, though, we are going to take a look at the map, a closer look at the map and see who's all here. So we have KT, who I think might be, I, I'm not sure if that's the island rap, rap or not. I mean, we didn't really visit the houses, but that's okay. We got Raymond, Coco, Adi, Molly, Whitney, Bruce, Anka, Olivia, Tangy, and Lolly. So this person actually has a lot of like really cute, sought after villagers. Anyways though, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to go back to bed. I want to wake up. <clears throat> and on to our next dream there, guys.
Alrighty, and we have arrived at the island of Starfall. So this is Starfall Island, one of another random island that we have selected today once again. Dream addresses will be available in both the video and in the description down below. There's no poster announcements on the on it, so I wonder if they don't really manage. I mean, to be honest though, the post board kind of lost all of its purposes. I actually ordered one of these, but I haven't put it up yet. <laughs> I actually have one of these balloon arcs because, like, this is, like, really going to be a one-of-a-kind mm -hmm. item, is the 2021 arc, arch, so, like, I don't, so, like, that's, that's another reason why I just kind of want to take apart everything and put it back together, because, like, yeah, I don't know, like, I've, like, <laughs> I have a lot of thought processes, needless to say. Oh, this is actually kind of a little, this is really cute, actually, I like this. I like this little space. And one thing that I really like about, about the dream addresses in New Horizons is that you can actually see what's in their museum. But I don't really want to like go into their museum for reasons that, you know, like people might not want to see it because they haven't seen it yet. So I don't want to ruin that for people. <laughs> Anyways, though, we're just going to kind of keep walking around, like, oh my goodness, they got like a cute little dirt path and everything. Mm -hmm. Ugh, jelly. <laughs> These campsite sides are super cute, too, which you get when you connect your, um, your pocket camp to your Nintendo account. We got text. And she even has, like, signs on their doors, so that way we know, like, by picture who it is. This is Colton. Ooh, Colton! Okay, okay, a vibe, a vibe of Colton. Oh my goodness. Another little orc- another little, like, orchid. Actually, I might- yeah. Small orchid might be- might be my answer. I don't know, I've definitely considered just selling everything and just restarting. Oh, there's like a cute little like date night little spot. Oh, we love it. Just like a dinner out on the stars. What a beautiful thing. How beautiful. Oh, we love it. Okay. Carrying on though, because like as of right now, like my eyelid is just covered in flowers. <laughs> and I'm vibing with like this cute little ocean chair, like the little like beach chairs as well. I think these are super cute. I haven't found any of those like specific kind yet though. Anyways, we head up here. We see more people. Like we see more villagers. Um, one has like a cute little clothesline. We also have the Able Sister Shop, which they also got like this cute little like sewing area. <laughs> oh, that's that's cute. We vibe. Oh, and they even have like a little like loom and pillows. All right, all right. Let's see, I see. What else is there? We got another little picnic spot. And this is the house. Oh, I guess this is like their their backyard with like their dogs, because these dogs are super dwarfs. Like when you interact with them, they actually move, which is a lot better than the mom's plushie, <laughs> in my opinion. I, I I don't know. I'm not a fan of the mom's plushie. It's kind of weird looking. This is the inside of their house. They still got the spooky stuff up and the best and like harvest stuff in November. Which I mean, I guess you can't really judge because I was kind of the same way. I still had my spooky stuff up by the end of November. This is the bathroom. Wait. Wait. What was if I sat in front of it? Oh my god, that's so cool. I did not know that happened. Whoa, okay. I did not know that happened. That is a new thing I've learned today. That's a thing. And let's just go ahead, let's continue into the other rooms and see what they have in their other rooms. Oh my god, that's so cool though. 
you've got like a little a little deck a little design station by the looks of it so I guess that means they're like a designer or something or they like to design stuff maybe we'll take a peek at their library if they have a library of designs that we can you know take <laughs> Let's go into this other room. This is the kitchen with the spooky stuff in it <laughs> still. And we also have a, oh, th this kitchen island that I keep forgetting to buy was in my nooks. A fridge, clearly able to decorate their, their kitchen better than I ever could. <laughs> my kitchen's still kind of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we'll do a video next week on that. Do like a do like a speed a speed thing in my house. Their downstairs basement, which I mean they got a workshop. They've got a little lounging area. With all of their awards. I didn't even think about using the the awards like this. Dang. They're a they know how to do stuff here. <laughs> a, 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 a humidifier. Oh my god. Maybe I could like make like a workspace in my in my house. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea actually. We might have to do that. <laughs> and upstairs, and they also as well have multiple workbenches, which I did not have in my own house. Ooh, this is so cute. And like the city looks like a three has like a three D effect on it. Wow. Okay, this is super cute. <laughs> Everything is super cute. They even have a is that a golden frame of Colton? Oh my god. That is so cool. Okay, okay. I have a. I have new life goals now for Lucky, for Lucky's frame. Please tell me that's possible because I love that frame. Oh my god, <laughs> how do you get how do you get that? Is that like a design, or do you have to like get? Or do you need like golden nuggies for that? I feel like you're gonna need golden nuggies. Oh, and there's her character. <laughs> Find Eric 2020, and she's even got her little mask on to keep herself safe from the COVID. <clears throat> and I think the last thing, well, before we check and see where her villagers are before we leave, we're going to um, check their... <laughs> we're gonna check their... Uh... What was I gonna do? Oh, they don't have any designs, hence why we don't have a design portal. Okay. So they don't have any designs, unfortunately. That makes me a little sad. Um, and then before we leave, we're going to do a map. So she has Kid, Carmen, Colton, Tutu, Stitches, Dom, Fuchsia, Buck, Chrissy, and Tia, which once again are a lot of a lot of those villagers are also highly sought after and very popular in the Animal Crossing community. Um, so let's go ahead and let's start the next stream. Alrighty there guys, we are in the dream of magic land. <laughs> so I definitely have a feeling that we're probably going to be seeing a lot of like magic themed stuff happening here. That's kind of my assumption. Black Friday at Nook's Cranny. Um, let's go ahead and let's check out this cus uh this uh the dream the patterns that these that this person has <laughs> searching custom designs which they really don't have anything of they just have some other designs 
some pro designs. All right. <laughs> They've got like a little award wheel. I got an apple. All right, let's go ahead. Let's just kind of walk around and see what's happening here. Looks like they got a new player for our camp. Some little houses. So this is so it might either be a say uh, a shared island or a. Or someone that has multiple save files, because I mean, I used to have multiple save files, but I don't anymore. I actually deleted the other save file because I was getting sick and tired of my villagers talking about Rose. Even the villagers that never even met Rose were talking about Rose. Wait, they have their... Is this like a... Do they like have their streets named or something? Because they're so... That's really cute. That is something that we can vibe with. They're cute little stores. They even have Carlos bobbing out front. They've got a cotton cat. They've got a cotton candy maker. A lot of flowers, which I mean can relate. So I wonder why they've got so many villain like so many new players just vibe and intense. Makes me kind of curious. So I feel like this island isn't fully completed, so of course we're just probably gonna walk around the parts that are. Because to what unwanted, oh, I'm sorry there you unwanted fish, I'm very sorry. Eric, with little hearts. I guess you can kind of tell who their favorite villager is. We've got, yeah, this is super cute. I mean, I feel like I'm going to say this about, like, every island. Oh, they got cherry and apple. Okay. Okay. One of the newer villagers by the looks of it. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I mean, they're definitely like me with all the flowers. Like, my village is over ran by all the flowers. Let's see what your name is. That might give me an, an idea. Magic Cross. Oh, I, I feel like that, like, they have their streets named after their villagers. I don't know. I'm definitely getting, a, like, a lot of, like, street vibes. It looks like they have this villager up here that's just left alone. So I wonder if he's new, or if it's ugly and they're just torturing him. I don't know, it could be a mixture of the both. Ooh, do they? Oh, I thought they had the, um, unknown home. So who are you? Becky. Who's Becky? I've never seen a Becky villager. Let's go see who Becky is. Oh! You're Becky. Not a vibe. Not a vibe. Alrighty. But I feel like though that, I mean, definitely not what I was anticipating when, when I saw Magic Land, but I feel like those island is still in development. And they are overran with flowers, which I mean, same. Can relate. To feeling overwhelmed by flowers because mood. All right, though. So, so we're going to go ahead and check the island one last time on the map, and we'll see who is all here. Just vibing. We have Magic Cross, who I would believe is the the island rep. No Timmy, Dell. Apple. KK die. This person doesn't have a house. Sass. Cody. Judy. Maringu. Maringu? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Frida. Another. Nicole. Nicholas, I guess. Um, Eric. Becky. Cherry. Carlos. And. I'm not even sure how to go with that name. <laughs> Alright, though. So anyway, those are guys. I think it's time for us to wake up. 
and return to our land. So let's go ahead and say, I want to wake up. And I will see you all next time. Bye there, guys.